Hello everybody, my name is Sherry Malajak and welcome back to Suburban Snacks. If you're a returning viewer, then you know that we switch up the snacks every month. And this month's snack is... Pumpkin Spice Marshmallows! Oh. <laughs> is the camera on? How does it taste? How does it taste? Like a marshmallow? And I do taste pumpkin spice. Is it very, good? Very good. In this episode, we'll be going over the top three worst design trends in 2021, according to the National Association of Realtors. Now, right off the bat, I want to say that Suburban Real Estate Group does not necessarily agree with all three. But we figured it'd be best to inform you so that if you have any of these design trends in your home, you can tear them down right away. Because let's face it, you don't want to be that person that's house is dated back to three months ago. So to start us off, the third worst design trend is minimalism. According to NAR, an uncluttered, sparsely decorated home can feel sad because of lack of personality. Aww. They say more of a maximalist look is taking root thanks to influences of cluttercore and grand millennial style. What does that even mean? Well, I can tell you this much. Grand millennial style has to do with floral wallpaper. And they say minimalist design is a problem. If you couldn't tell, that's the one I don't agree with. The second worst design trend is acrylic furniture. NAR states that dining rooms and tables... <laughs> <laughs> NAR states that tables and dining chairs made of industrial plastic were popular in the 2010s, essentially vanishing into the room to make it look larger. But now, homeowners want their furniture to make a statement and stand out, hence the floral wallpaper. They also state that a green accent chair is one of the biggest emerging trends of the year. And the number one worst design trends is moss walls. This is artificial turf. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like people who have moss walls are people with money who have taste. I mean, I've never been in an average home where they have moss walls. The only moss walls I've ever seen are in YouTube videos where they tour million dollar homes. NAR states that the green walls are better kept outside. But I say, if you can make a moss wall work in your $300,000 house, then you're doing something right. If you or someone you know has a house with a moss wall, and is interested in selling their home, we at Suburban would love to help. That's gonna do it for us here at Suburban Snacks. If you have any questions or would like to get in contact with us, feel free to check out our website at suburbanrealestategroup.com. Also make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, all at Suburban Real Estate Group. Thanks for watching. My name is Sherry Malajak, and we'll see you in the next one.